suggestions on how, as a country, we could attract more clinical trial interest? So you have to look at the, the red tape. So, um, so sometimes I run these clinical trials and people ask me, they say, well, you know, which other sites you know, do you want involved? And I try and work with people that I like, and so I contact people in Australia, and I haven't contacted anyone in New Zealand yet, and in the UK, and in Canada. And sometimes the drug companies will say, oh, we can't do a trial there. It just takes too long, and it's too expensive. If you look at some of the countries which have really put themselves on the map, France, and then China, Japan, Taiwan, Singapore, their goal was to attract in clinical trials. So they made, they, they cut through the red tape. They standardized pricing, they had standardized budgets, and you know, those things can go on. Britain, if I, if I use it as an example of um, how not to do it, the mindset was, we don't want you experimenting on our population. And it was almost like you know, the, the, the drug company was the evil empire. And they just tried to make it as difficult as possible. And what happened was that everyone took their clinical trials everywhere else. And that doesn't benefit anybody. It doesn't economically benefit the country, and it certainly doesn't benefit the patients. So yeah, you have to have appropriate checks and balances, which is usually an ethics committee and something else, so that you're not you know, crazily experimenting with people. But you have to get rid of completely unnecessary committees that everything has to go through, and then have to be checked by another committee. And for small countries, you can do that. 